Tech Talk with Paul from the Western Experience. Hey, Paul here from the Western Experience. Today, let's talk about fly sprays. People often ask us, what's a good fly spray? Why is this one $10 and this one $20? Well, let's, let's dig into it a little bit and tell you. Uh, first off, you, there's a huge uh, influx of natural fly sprays, fly repellents, and, and I really that's what we should call these, are fly repellents. The natural products have a lot of natural oils in them, peppermint oils, eucalyptus oils, uh, all different things. The one thing about the naturals, they do not kill the insect, they simply repel it from your horse or your dog. Most of them are safe on pets as well, by the way. One big advantage to the naturals is they, they tend to have a lot of soothing and conditioning uh, uh, properties to them as well. So you'll, you'll gain a, a little nicer finish on the hair and the coat from them as well. And if you're concerned about uh, products, uh, pesticides or whatever, these are all natural. They're more similar than different, but they each have their own unique formula. And so if one doesn't work, it doesn't mean that a different one might work. And sometimes they'll work at different times of the year where, where so keep them around. They're kind of handy and, and like I say, pretty safe around your pets and everything else. So, so naturals are, are, are a fun thing and they do, they do repel, but they won't knock down the insect. Going back to that question, why is this one half the cost of this one? The old saying, you get what you pay for, it's true in fly repellents as well. The active ingredients, the pyrethrins, the permethrins, the things that actually knock the insect down and, and, and will kill the insect, the, the amount, look at the, at the active ingredients in all these products and you'll probably find, uh, as an example, this one has about five times as much of active ingredient as this one does. That's why this product is $9 and this product is $20. Uh, so look at that, look at the active ingredient. Um, a lot of these products that are, are high-end products, they, they really will work that much better. Um, so, so keep that in mind. Um, if you're just looking for something short term, you just wanna take care of a horse for a few hours or something, sometimes the, the lesser costly products will do the job, but most people are looking for something that will last for quite a while. Um, keep in mind, these are all ready to use sprays. We also carry concentrates. Concentrates are still the most economical way to go because 90% or better of these products, most of them is water. Well, you've got plenty of water at home, so if you're willing to go to the trouble to mix up a concentrate, mix up about as much as you'll use in 48 hours. Um, store it out of the sunlight because sunlight tends to break it down as well. So if you kind of keep that in mind, and of course, uh, it goes without mentioning all of these products, especially the natural products, shake the heck out of them before you use them. You want to make sure they're mixed. These are oil, they tend to separate and sometimes all the peppermint oil could come out on top or something and could, could burn a, or have a little adverse effect. So just make sure you shake all your products really well before you use them and I think you'll find that they'll go a long ways. So concentrates work good, mix up what you use, and, and it's the most economical way. We go all the way up to gallons and all of these products as well. So, so remember that. Here's a little tip for you. If you, uh, if you just get yourself a little Ziploc bag and an inexpensive sponge, you can, you can use any of the spray on products. You can spray it onto the sponge, uh, wipe on products, wipe it up around the ears, around the face throw it in the Ziploc bag, close it up, it'll be good to go. Next time you may not have to add any product to it and it'll still have plenty of the effect. Plus this packs really nice in your saddle bag if you're gonna take a trail riding. Sometimes the gnats get bad, you can just reach up and, and uh, hit them around the ears a little bit while you're riding. So very handy little tip, use that. If, you're, uh, if you don't wanna mess with that, Absorbine has a terrific uh, mitt that works the same way. This is, this is a mitt that you can saturate with your repellent. When you're done using it, you just simply uh, pull it back inside itself and it makes its own bag. And uh, it has its own bag and the bag has a zip lock on it. So there's the same fancy version of what I just showed you. So that works out well as, as well. So keep in mind um, products, sometimes we want to rotate the products, especially the natural products. They'll work at different, different times. Um, and then the old saying is the higher the the active ingredient, typically the longer the product will last on the animal and the, and the better it'll work. So just keep that in mind. Wipe on products are great. 
We also have, there's lots of little products out there like a little roll-on that you can work up into the ears and that. Uh, we have balms that will work um, in the, under the belly and, and uh, you know, in the ears and all those sensitive areas. So, so lots of products to battle it, uh, but uh, uh, they all work well when you use them properly. And no matter what people tell you, the rain does wash them off. So if, if your horse is out in the rain, you're gonna probably have to reapply. Um, it, it does rinse it off. Uh, the, the better products will hold on a little longer, but 14 days means 14 days without rain. And most of these products are safe on your pets, especially the natural products, so keep that in mind as well. Please subscribe for another Tac Talk feature with Paul, coming soon.